We have more now on the search today at two New York properties linked to a billionaire Russian oligarch who recently had his yacht seized. Our cameras were there today as federal agents carried out boxes of a Park Avenue property on the Upper East Side. NYPD detectives were also on the scene. And we're told today's search is connected to a close ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin. It was a similar scene today at an estate in Southampton, also linked to that oligarch. And there was a search at a property in Miami's Fisher Island. Our chief investigative reporter, Jonathan Dees, talking to sources all day. He broke the story. He's in the newsroom. Jonathan? David, officials not saying if this case is about possible evasion of sanctions by one of Russia's richest men or if this investigation relates to possible specific criminal allegations here inside the U.S. What is clear, there were three simultaneous raids taking place targeting properties linked to one Russian oligarch. Federal agents this morning seen amid the limousines on Park Avenue at East 60th Street. A small army of agents and detectives descended on 515 Park to search a home tied to a Russian oligarch. Agents seen going to and from the 21st floor apartment belonging to Russian billionaire Victor Vexelberg. The Justice Department has alleged Vexelberg's business practices, including possible money laundering, has helped the Russian government continue its war in Ukraine. Victor Vexelberg is believed to be in Russia. He's somebody who the U.S. believes has significant ties to Vladimir Putin. HSI and FBI agents with an armored vehicle arrived to search a Southampton estate, a property tied to Vexelberg as well. For hours along Duck Pond Lane, investigators searched the nine-bedroom, 11-bath waterfront home with a recent past listing of $15 million. A third search took place at a Vexelberg link property on Miami's Fisher Island whose 467 residents are the richest in the United States. Vexelberg, a Russian aluminum and energy baron, has been accused of evading sanctions, and DOJ has accused him of using his businesses and front companies to try to violate money laundering and bank fraud statutes. Are they using the U.S. banking system? Are they skirting sanctions? Attempts to reach a Vexelberg representative and a lawyer affiliated with the Southampton property were not successful. It was back in April the Justice Department worked with Spanish authorities to seize Vexelberg's $90 million luxury yacht, and they froze $1.5 billion of his cash in U.S. and Swiss accounts. No arrests today, none of the property seized, but these visible searches show the criminal investigation into one of Russia's richest men and how he moved some of his money very much ongoing. Again, no charges filed today. Spokesman at the Justice Department and Homeland Security not commenting about the direction this criminal investigation is taking.